and welcome to our distinguished guests, Dr. Lou Blackburn, President, Board of Education, District 5, Dr. Michael Hinojosa, Su Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Leslie Williams, Executive Director of the Central Secondary Learning Community, Mrs. Alice Black, Executive Principal, Yvonne A. Yule Townview Center, Ms. Bridget Nevels, Dean of Instruction, and to the parents, family members, alumni, and friends. Welcome to the School of Science and Engineering Magnet Commencement 2011. To the graduates of the Class of 2011, I offer my congratulations for your commitment, for challenges conquered, for projects completed, and for goals reached and even surpassed. Commencement is a milestone in your journey of life and learning. It is a culmination of years of hard work. It marks a successful accomplishment in your life. Commencement also marks the beginning of a new phase in your life. You have worked hard and made sacrifices to arrive at this point in your adventure of life. We are here tonight to celebrate your momentous achievement with you. Behind your accomplishments are your teachers, family, friends, and loved ones who have supported and sustained you through the years. We have worked diligently to prepare a very special ceremony that we hope will create fond memories of your high school career for both you and your loved ones. We would also like to remind everyone of the decorum statement located at the bottom of your program. Your cooperation will help us to provide the very best graduation for each student. We will now hear from our top two graduates that also happen to be two remarkable young women. I proudly present to you the class of 2011 salutatorian Redima Chada, followed by valedictorian Julia Hosu. Thank you, Ms. Wells, for that amazing introduction. Um, she was a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Uh, no, I think I'll stick to my original speech. Um, welcome administrators, teachers, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, welcome class of 2011. Tonight we're gathered here to celebrate an end as well as a beginning, a loss as well as a gain, and a good thing coming from a bad thing. We are here to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2011. Great job, you guys. We finally made it, and great job to those who made it early, too. Firstly, I would like to thank every mom, every dad, every grandparent, aunt and uncle, every brother, sister, friend, and guardian, every mentor, teacher, every neighbor, and significant other for being a part of this journey with us, for shaping us, for bringing us thus far, and for every piece of wisdom provided free of charge in an all-you-can-learn buffet. Without your constant presence, the equation of our life would be unbalanced. You guys are the constants, multiplying our good elements, keeping them balanced with the bad ones in the chemical equation of our lives. Thank you. I would also like to thank our teachers for pushing us so hard that the distance covered by our initial velocity is greater than the fall of the Earth, so that we went into a low-altitude orbit, our knowledge deep, and our thoughts out of this world. For asking for our homework even weeks after it was due, for staying after school to tutor us, for heading our crazy UIL teams, for making fun of us when we got our tests back, for demolishing our self-esteem to bring us in line, and for planning such a fun senior year. Most of all, I would, thank you. I would like to thank you all for loving us like your own children. Thank you. Lastly, I would like to thank us. Yes, thank yourself, class of 2011. You're the reason we're here today. The hard work you've done the love you've given your classmates and the amazing support system you've provided in these past four years is more than any nerdy high school student could ask for. This quality of sticking together is what sets us apart from the other classes and is what we carry out into the real world. Now, it's time to say the cliched lines that make the essence of every graduation. Well, class of 2011, we made it. At times, I felt that this day would never come. But it has, and I'm sorry for wishing it would have come sooner. Four years ago, we entered the halls of SEM, clueless, dorky, and for the most part, innocent. We were gullible, scared, and overwhelmed, both by our classes and our school size. 
But we found friends, the SEM group, talking to random people in the lockers to collaborate on previous night's assignments. We stepped into SEM not understanding the greatness that was expected out of us, but learning slowly that we would end up working hard to earn the title of the number four school in the nation. Pushing the limits of our stress meter, losing sleep on assignments in Facebook, um, never forgetting to read the book or spark notes, um, and collaborating on all homework assignments. Starting our first few days, reassuring our parents that we would work really hard and land good college scholarship, and ending our last few days by convincing our parents that it didn't really matter anymore, that we'd already been accepted and summer was less than 100 days away. So it doesn't matter if you were the regular kid, the fast track kid, the super fast track kid, or if you thought Dr. Tuttle was a scary giant or just a giant teddy bear. If you were confused about Baldy being the bald one or Bruin being the bald one, if you played tag after the prep session or simply took naps in the lockers, you might have done some of these things or none of these things. But one thing we have all in common is that we've all gone through SCM. And whether you've loved it, hated it, or simply have no opinion of it, we've all breathed SEM air, and that has forever changed us. To keep this short, um, now my fellow classmates, it's time to leave the sheltered halls of SEM and head into the untamed world. In a final effort to say something meaningful that will hopefully stick longer than the night of the ceremony, your second place atorium, your nerdy companion, would like to leave you with one promise left by a popular artist. Just remember that even if they turn the lights out, the show is going on. Thank you. Good evening, parents, friends, dear guests, teachers, administrators, and of course, fellow graduates. I'm Julia, if you hadn't heard from the wonderful introduction Ms. Wells already gave, and I'd like to jump right in so I can keep this short and sweet. Four years ago, I walked up the steps of the Bonnie Yule Townview Magnus Center for the first time as an eighth grader. I can't say I was small and scared because I haven't grown an inch since then, and as it is, I'm a bit on the tall side, but I can't say I wasn't too sure about this whole magnet school thing. I didn't consider my chances of acceptance to be very high, and as it is, I didn't think back then that I have the honor of standing here before you tonight, representing an amazing group of students as the valedictorian of SEM's graduating class of 2011. This time right now, however, isn't all about me. There are 92 other graduating seniors sitting behind me that are probably just waiting for me to finish this speech so we can get on with moving those tassels from the right to the left and, of course, to get to the week of partying that's coming up. Before that happens, however, I'd like to take some time and remind everyone of the adventures we've had these past four years. From the moment we stepped on campus, that one August forever ago, to this past week of field trips and bittersweet goodbyes. Once upon a time, we were freshmen. Lost in Latin declensions and that even stranger language I think was called Java. Not to mention those classrooms that were nowhere to be found. But we made it through. We didn't know each other that well back then. In my case, I didn't know anybody except the super fast track 16 and our teacher, Miss Ade. But after all, we made friendships that have lasted to this day. As sophomores, we were quietly initiated into the heart of SEM. That is to say, chemistry, physics, and calculus. We probably gave Dr. Tuttle, Mr. Carter, Mr. Gonzalez, and Mr. Cove very, very many headaches over endless moments of stupidity. Headaches which were probably only equaled by those they gave us over their tests. Even occasional hand cramps might have occurred from the use of one too many no work, no credit stamps. But for most of us, it sank in after the fourth or fifth appearance. We will never forget the importance of diagrams and significant digits again. Junior year was definitely a challenge, at least for me. Super Lab terrified me for the first couple of weeks. I don't quite think I got the hang of it until second semester. 
I really don't know how eighth grade was, well, eighth grade, eighth period, was always so relaxed about it. It was probably the Labyrinths. Sadly, I missed the rite of passage of being an introduction to engineering. With the help of many grumbling descriptions, however, and after having met Mr. Boykin and realizing he's mostly just a kid like us, I'm confident it was an entertaining class to have, as well as a very unfortunate class not to have. Keeping up with junior activities was definitely a pain without it. This year, our last year, it seems like we all tended to go our own ways as far as experience were concerned. Although, I'm sure that some common denominators were having the pleasure of having Mr. Taylor for at least one class and hearing all his wonderful, wonderful stories, writing essay after essay after essay in the English class, thank you Mr. Hackett, as well as cheering on our very own black and white knight earlier this week, earlier this week at Medieval Times. Sadly, he lost in the first round. Despite everything, however, I want to recognize the fact that here at SEM, we're one giant family. As I was putting together this year's senior slideshow and admiring all the adorable baby pictures, I know what happened to us. I was shocked that I knew everybody's name. I knew something about everybody. And I don't think that at most other schools that's feasible, not just because they're bigger, but because of the atmosphere. Apart from the wonderful education this school has offered us, I'm also so very thankful for the closeness it has fostered between us. SEM has not only allowed us to grow, to open our minds and fill them with knowledge, and to discover that rocket science isn't really all that difficult, but also to love each other, like Ms. Hines always says. Here we have found mentors to guide us through uncharted territory, friends to make us smile and remind us to sleep every once in a while, people who will remain on our minds and in our hearts for the rest of our lives. I'd like to conclude, perhaps a bit selfishly, by making a few requests to the parents, families, and friends out there in the audience tonight. I ask that you continue to give the unconditional love and support that you have provided to each of these graduates for the past 16 to 18 years, without which we wouldn't have made it this far. To the teachers here at SEM, I ask that you continue to be the providers of an exceptional education to prepare the graduating classes of 2012, 2013, 2050 with the same passion, rigor, and care as you have prepared us. And finally, my fellow graduates, I ask that you continue your education and the rest of your lives as successfully, no more successfully, than you have completed your career here at SEM. Be the top of your classes at UT, a &M, SMU, UTD, U Chicago, and many, many others. Be the world's next generation of researchers, of doctors, of writers, of engineers. Send rovers into black holes, save lives, change the world. Find that one thing that you love to do. Put your heart into it and do it well. And most of all, never give up, never stop learning, and never forget the people along the way that have and will make everything worthwhile. Congratulations, class of 2011, and best of luck with your new beginnings. Thank you, ladies. At this time, I'm honored to introduce Dr. Lou Blackburn from the Dallas Independent School District Board of Education. Dr. Lou Blackburn, representing District 5, which includes East Oak Cliff, parts of downtown, Oak Lawn, and West Dallas, was elected to the Board of Education in June of 2001. He has served as first vice president, second vice president, board secretary, and has recently been elected to serve as board president. Dr. Blackburn has more than 20 years experience in education. 
He began his career as an instrumental music teacher with the Dallas Independent School District before serving as assistant principal. Dr. Blackburn has worked for the Texas Education Agency in the Division of School Accountability and has served as principal in Goodrich, Texas and Duncanville, Texas. He, is also, he has experience as an instructor at various colleges and universities. He has presented workshops and written papers on parent involvement, student support, collaborative decision making, and communication for educators. Dr. Blackburn was born in Fort Worth, where he attended elementary school. After moving to Dallas, he attended Oliver Wendell Holmes Middle School. He went on to earn a bachelor's degree in music education, a master's degree from Texas A&M University of Commerce, and a doctor of philosophy from the University of Texas at Austin. Dr. Blackburn has three children, all of whom are Dallas ISD graduates. We are especially proud of the fact that one of his three sons is a former graduate of the School of Science and Engineering Magnet. He is an exceptional student that decided after graduating from the School of Science and Engineering, he would go on to further his studies at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, one of the best higher education institutions in the world. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Lou Blackburn. You know, I tried to get Julie to do my speech for me, and she turned me down. Uh, the demon said, well, you can do it, you can do it. But you know, we have a lot of smart people standing, sitting behind me. And uh, Dr. Wells talked about my youngest son, Quentin, being at MIT. And I can tell you, uh, being a graduate of MIT, and I understand we have several others from this high school that has gone on to MIT. So that tells me that we have a lot of smart students leaving uh, this high school, one of the best high schools. But let me move on, because as president of the board, I had to move over two seats on the stage to allow our valedictorian salutatorian to sit, because they just would not sit in the back. And uh, so only because they are from this school that I had to move over. Uh, but I appreciate them having the gumption to tell me to move. Uh, I, I don't mind, <laughs> but let me go forward. Uh, good evening, uh, our administrators, faculty and staff, our parents, relatives, and friends. And congratulations to this 2011 graduating class of the School of Science and Engineering. I am so proud to be here with you tonight for this milestone occasion. Your diploma is what gives meaning to the board and its efforts and what guides their decisions. Congratulations on making it to this point in your life, your commencement into adulthood. You are about to begin your journey through life. But before you begin your, your journey, Gerardo, I want you to think about something. You see, before I begin a trip, Veronica, I sometimes use a navigation device in my car, a GPS, which is Global Positioning System. Erica, you see, I can enter my ultimate destination into the GPS using the street map or route setup with points of interest and even stopping points along the way. You see, the GPS will let me know the mileage and the time between points because it calculates the speed of my vehicle. From this, I can determine when I will reach my final destination. Jose, I recommend that you have a navigator for your guide. Your navigator is great plans for success. Your GPS should have street maps with the ability to update those maps or add new maps and have points of interest. Develop goals, objectives, and strategies towards reaching your many destinations. Schedule pit stops to make sure that you're on course. And as you mature, consider updating or changing your maps and set new destinations. Diana, sometimes you'll find that you'll uh, see a different light along the way. I encourage you to follow it because I submit to you that he is the light of the world and he is your ultimate GPS. David, you see your GPS has many capabilities to set routes. Are you going to college? 
technical school, work, or military. Either it's okay, because it's okay to reroute your journeys, change your goals. Just stay away from negative people with destructive values who try to tempt you. Pay attention to the information that will guide you to the proper lanes for navigating life challenges and pitfalls. Occasionally, you will have to take a detour. Stop and teach men to fish or talk to people at the well. It's okay. Pretty soon, you'll be able to get back on course. Just follow the light of your paths. And remember, the prodigal son even found his way back home. Stay focused on your GPS, your great plans for success. Now, Crystal, your GPS will have voice-activated navigation with voice prompt that, that, that speaks the names of the, of the streets. The voice you'll hear during your journeys are those of people who love you and care for you. They are reminding you, Philip, that you should not go down those wrong turns. They are reminding you of what you've been taught. Listen to the spiritual voice as well. He speaks. Your GPS is speaking, is talking to you. Your GPS has built-in memory. Failure, remember good destinations and bad stops. Don't make the same turns down the wrong roads. Follow the roads towards knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And don't forget the spirit of your life. Remember his words. Remember to use your GPS. Your GPS should have a speed indicator. Indicator. Keep a steady pace. Not too fast, not too slow. But very quick to say thank you and please. But very slow to anger. Let your GPS be your speedometer. What would you do in 5, 10, 15, or 20 years? What goals will you set? What will it take to reach your destinations? You will need your GPS, great plans for success. The graduates, whatever courses your life takes, it is my sincere hope that you will look back at your years at Townview as having educated you for success, ready to meet and deal with the challenges of life. Graduates, I wish you great success. Go forth throughout the world representing Townview and the Dallas Independent School District. Your high school years may be over, but remember, your education still continues. Parents, you have done well. Family and friends, keep your arms of love around the graduates. Keep them and help them find their successes in life. Graduates, in the midst of your celebrations, I encourage you to find time to remember and thank those who helped you get to this point. Thank them, for they are here. Thank your parents, your families, and your friends for their constant support, their understanding, and their sacrifices that, are, that they have done to get to this glorious moment. This is your grand graduation. It is an exciting time. It is a family celebration. We are family. Congratulations, graduates. Dr. Blackburn for the wonderful words of wisdom and encouragement. Dr. Blackburn, as principal of the School of Science and Engineering Magnet, I, Javon Wells, hereby certify that each of these candidates has met all the requirements for graduation as required by the state of Texas. Dallas students have met the policies of Dallas Independent School District. The candidates are qualified to receive their diplomas. Juliana Maria Osu. I would like to thank my parents for all the sacrifices that have been made for me throughout the years. My grandparents for believing in me when I wasn't even sure of myself. All the wonderful teachers here at SEM for challenging me to succeed. And of course, my friends for making the past four years memorable and for keeping me sane. 
I wouldn't be here today without all the wonderful support I've gotten from everyone. Montemesque. hoping not to be the one to trip and be most remembered for. While I do this, I would like to thank the people who have I thank them now, but the lessons they taught me will stay with me longer than their influence. I would like to thank my parents for their undying support and their relentless nagging about my future. Ms. Keisha for pushing me forward when I wanted to give up and for hitting me when I did. I would also like to thank Ms. Dove for introducing me to hard work and perseverance. Wong Hang Win. To the phenomenal mothers of Sydney, Kendall, George, and Jacob, I give my sincerest thanks for my bearing and raising competent, humble, and empathetic sons. To Veronica, thanks for all the havoc we've wrecked together. And thank you, Ms. Dow, for giving me the chance, inside and outside of the classroom, to thrive as a woman I have always admission to become. Thank you for welcoming me into your world. Yesenia Reyes. Today is more than just a day of celebration. It is the last day of my high school career with the unique individuals I'm proud to call my friends. Throughout the past four years, I've had experiences that were memorable and others that were challenging. Though regardless of what type of experience I've had, I've been fortunate to have great individuals stand by me. I would like to thank those individuals specifically, my mother for her support, that I've had my sister for her guidance, my brother for his support, and Mr. D for all of the help he's given me over the past four years. I feel very blessed and thank God for everything he's given me and providing such individuals in my life. Guadalupe Sanchez. Mamá y papá, gracias por todo el apoyo que me han dado y gracias a toda mi familia por todo lo que hacen por mí. Le quiero dar gracias a Dios for giving me the opportunity to continue my studies. Marcial, thanks for all your support. Thanks for being who you are. But most importantly, thanks for being my brother. To all my friends, I hope you find what you are looking for in life. Good luck in your endeavors. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Helen Levi Wall. I would like to thank my parents and grandparents for supporting and encouraging me throughout the years. And I'd like to thank my brother for always being there to make sure my life was never boring. Thanks to all my friends for all the great times we had together. Thank you to all my teachers who prevented boredom throughout the years with countless hours of homework. Thanks to everyone for the four great years of this year. Again and again, they shout their once-lived remorse of when all was one and one was all. Tide after tide, the sea laments its sweet sorrow, with each falling tear on its breaking waves upon the stagnant edifice. It's collapsing each and every dead feelings upon the forgotten to tell them that it is here in the sea of dreams. Four shore have passed with no time, and so I hope everyone knows that I appreciate each and every one of everlasting memories together. Sandy Cecilia Hernandez. My parents were a great source of support, always being there when I needed them. My friends brightened up my day, and my teachers gave me lessons that I could apply outside the classroom when they knew it or now. Above all, I would like to thank God for being my strength. All I can really say is thank you. Gerardo Alba Jr. 
Thanks to my entire family for being available when I needed you the most. Thanks to my mom and dad for pushing me to be the best version of myself possible. Thanks to all my friends for helping me make the best of these past four years. Finally, I'd like to thank my counselor and all my teachers for sharing their knowledge, knowledge and ultimately making me a better person. Veronica Arredondo. I want to thank my parents, family, and especially God for telling me they were proud of me and loved me at the times I needed to hear it the most. Because you knew this day would come, getting past obstacles was no real trouble. My high school experience was immanageably great. I definitely want to thank my friends and Mighty Mouse for that. You guys are amazing. How to be part, I'm glad to be part of the SEM class of 2011. Jose Emanuel Arroyo. Le quiero dar gracias a mis padres y a Dios por haberme dado la oportunidad de crecer en la persona que soy ahora. Los quiero tanto. Thanks to all the teachers that I've had, like Mr. Beck, Mr. Hackett. Mr. Taylor, Ms. Hines, you guys are the best. Thanks for the knowledge you have given me and all the crazy stories you've shared. And to all the haters out there, thank you, for without you, I wouldn't enjoy my graduation. <laughs> Carmela Andrina Booker. I would like to thank my mother and my grandmother for helping me become the person I am today. They always encourage me to pursue my interests and think for myself. Celso Briones. Hoy quisiera dar gracias a mi madre querida. Gracias, madre, por tu dedicación y todo lo que haces para asegurar que jamás me falte algo. Gracias por el amor que me das y que siempre me ayudas a ser la mejor persona. Gracias a mis tías, a mis primos, que siempre me están presentes en mi vida. Thanks to my brother Joe, my little brother Jesus, and my only sister Yvonne, who instilled in me the true value of family. And finally, thanks to my friends and CFS that made SEM a unique and memorable experience. Andrew William Carlson. I'd like to thank my parents and my family for their love and unwavering support. They never quite lit up, but it was for my own good. SEM might not have started off the best, but it grows on me, and it really made an impact. Although this is the end of high school, there is still plenty to do. Luis Casares. I want to thank God allow me to get this place to this place in my life. I also want to thank my parents and sisters for all the encouragement and also my great friend Erica Hernandez who put up with me and always helped me stay on track. To all the special people in my life who always believed in me and who helped me make it this far and to all my classmates of 2011, we made it. Regulo Castañeda Jr. To all my classmates, good luck on the next step of your life. Primero, quiero dar gracias a Dios y a mis padres por todo lo que han hecho por mí. I want to thank all my teachers, especially Dr. Toto, Mr. Boykin, and Ms. Hines. I want to thank my friends, my brothers, my sister for supporting me during these four years. Finally, I want to thank the best counselor Mr. Flores for guidance and help. Marco Polo de Jesus Castillo. It's been a long four years here at SCM, but those four years hold some of the best memories of my life. The journey wasn't easy, but God blessed me with great people to help me along the way. Primero, quisiera agradecer a mis padres y a mis hermanas por siempre apoyarme y ayudarme. 
I would like to also thank Tom Crandall and his family for all the guidance they give me. I would also like to thank Kay Cruz and Renee Schmidt for all the countless favors they've done for me. Jacob Conrad Kluge. I would like to thank all my classmates, teachers, friends, family, and anyone else who has helped or supported me in any way. I also want to thank all of the people who make the science and engineering magnet possible. They are changing the lives of many young students for the better, mine included. Alfonso Gouro. I would like to thank all my friends here for making these four years memorable, as well as my parents for supporting me while I was in school and making sure I kept up good grades. Thank you, people who have cared for me for my education, including my teachers and everyone that made some kind of impact on my life during my years at this school. Gerardo Dominguez, Jr. I would like to thank my parents for all of their support. I would like to thank my mom for always being there and supporting me in everything I do. I would like to thank my dad for setting a good example for me and his guidance. I would like to thank my siblings, Nancy, Eduardo, Angelica, and Benjamin, for giving me a reason to aspire and aim for higher goals. I would like to thank my friends for all those memories we've had together. Thank you guys for everything. Kavan to Don. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy, for all your support. I'm grateful for the family I have, my friends, and the people I've gotten to meet along the way. I hope everything goes well from here on out, for me and for everyone. Kimberly Melissa Erasmus. Thank you to all my friends and teachers for their support, and thank you to all the people who have crossed paths with me at some point in my life for making me the person I am today. Adriana Espinosa. I have to thank my best friends who are always bright in my day, even when tornadoes hit. This world definitely isn't perfect, and we don't always like the cards life gives us. But having those buddies to guide and remind me that I'm loved really helps. My mother has done the unbelievable for me. I've depended on her so much, but I'm learning to do things on my own, finally growing up. And now I'm able to say, look, Mom, no hands. I'm going to make you proud, Dad. Army strong, baby. I would like to thank God, first of all, because if it wasn't his will, I would not be alive today. I would also like to thank my family, for if it didn't stand beside me, I probably would have given up. Not only because I feel bad, because I'm really lazy. So when push comes to shove, I gotta work. Thank you, Isabella, because you were there for me and stuck by me whenever things got tough. And that was very obvious. Thanks to the teachers in order as well, because they're the ones who fed me the knowledge to get through school and go on to college. Well, everyone else, friends, family and friends of family, and anyone else who I'm forgetting, thank you. And oh, one more thing, class of 2011 rules. Cynthia Carolina Estrada. Cynthia for being there through the good and the bad. 
Les doy gracias a mis padres y a mi familia por la paciencia y el amor que me han dado. Muchas gracias, los quiero a todos muchísimo. Brenda Eustacio. En este día tan especial, me gustaría agradecer a mi familia por todo su amor, y especialmente a mis padres por su apoyo y sus buenos consejos. Finally, I would like to thank all my teachers for having to put up with me and help me become a better person. Eduardo Garcia. First and foremost, I just want to thank my family. They pushed me to bounds I never perceived would be possible. Without their support, this would not be possible. I would also like to thank everybody and anybody who's helped me survive and strive to unleash the immense potential that I've always carried. Life is short, but there is nothing best than to strive for the best. Josue Garcia. In this very important day of my life, I would like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to graduate from a great high school with great friends. I would also like to thank my parents for always being there for me and Barbara for her time and dedication. Juan Jesus Garcia. Gracias, mamá y papá, por todo el apoyo que me han dado todos estos 18 años. Sé que fue difícil darme todo, lo mejor, pero lo hicieron, y lo hicieron por amor. Gracias. Thank you, family, friends, and teachers for supporting me and guiding me during these four years at SEM. Good luck to my fellow SEM graduates. Marisa Garcia. I want to thank God for always being with me, my parents for always supporting me in everything I do, from academics to sports, my brother Michael for being my rock and not showing any signs of crumbling. I want to thank Ms. Hines, Mr. Boykin, and Mr. Flores for, for putting up with my last minute request. My friends were there with me through thick and thin. Gracias, mom and dad, por todo lo que han hecho por mí y por enseñarme que no darme por vencida. James Bradley Goins III. Though this journey called life is far from over, I know that the beginning so far has been amazing. It has been filled with amazing people and amazing experiences. I know that life only has begun, and I know I've been prepared for life. Thank you. Edwin Gomez. These four years I've spent with my friends at Tower are truly a blessing. I cannot have asked for a better experience. I would like to thank my family, teachers, staff, friends for the love and support they've shown me. Quiero darle las gracias a Dios por mis padres que son inspiración y motivación. Los quiero mucho. I want to thank Jacoby, Sergisi, Abolicious, Zuniga, and Cecil, and the rest of the Chocolate Factory for an amazing senior year. I love you guys. CFS for life.
I'd also like to thank my friends and family throughout my years here at SCM for all the great memories. Also, a huge shout out to the Chocolate Factory Soccer for a very memorable senior year. The Whitney Yael Goins. First, thanks to God, thanks to my mom who's been there for me through it all. To my family who's given me the essential tools for life. To my friends who have tolerated me with my weirdness for four years. To my teachers who have endured my stubbornness and have still been there for me. To everyone in my life who's been there to lend me advice and raise my hopes and expectations. And most of all, to SEM for helping me be the best student I can be. Andrew Donald Grant. I would like to thank my parents for giving me this opportunity and giving me help and support to get through it. Also, I would like to thank my friends and other family members who kept me entertained. And I would like to thank SEM for keeping me away from Sigaville. amazing friend, Luis Cáceres, who has been there always with whom I have shared tears and laughs. I thank God for permitting me to overcome obstacles I have come across that have helped me become the lady I am today. Israel Hernández. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my entire family for all their support throughout the years. Also, my beautiful girlfriend, Karen Carrasco, and all of my friends for putting up with my antics and me in general and knocking sense into me when I need it. Sydney, I shall take everything you, my family, my classmates, my teachers have instilled in me as I venture into a new beginning of my life. What my family, my friends have taught me, I shall never forget. Diana, Through the whispers of the heart soul, one doesn't just have gratitude, but also inexplainable emotions that can't be described purely. For me, it's beyond gratitude, that which I feel. For surviving through high school, for enduring the tough yet lively teachers, especially for having a loving and supporting family, and especially for having the amazing friends that fill me with un unimaginable joy, for all this saying, thank you, just isn't enough as these whispers echo through the winds of change, but for now, this is all that can be said. Eduardo Antonio Infante. I would like to thank my family and friends for their continued support. If there is one thing I have learned from my experience in high school, is that you can't always do everything by yourself.
Derek Anthony Jackson. Big thanks to God, my entire family, and all my friends, all of you. This wouldn't have been possible without, without you and your continued love and support. A special thank you to Maria Medrano. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. I also want to thank my teachers, my very first teacher, Pamela Ralston, Rita Hines for her love, and Robert Trevino for his guidance. Thank you. Godspeed Jamie Brown, Go Chocolate Factory. I could keep going on for a while, but there's not enough stage. One more person, very important. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you guys when I see you. Derrico Jackson is officially a UTD comic. Jackson. I would like to thank everyone and anyone Derek forgot to mention. Especially big thanks to Big Money Greenbacks, Mr. Spencer, La Esencia de Excelencia, Alberto del Rio, Dirt Nasty, and Mr. Trevino for making this year a lot better than the others. Jeremiah Josiah Johnson. First of all, I would like to thank God for receiving this diploma and helping guiding me through all my endeavors. Second, I'd like to thank my parents, my sister, and the rest of my family for their love and support. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Academy for providing wonderful faculty and staff who supported me throughout these last four years. I can say that being exponentially They've made me exponentially more intelligent than when I started out as a freshman. I feel I am prepared to be as successful to continue my education at Georgia Tech. Go Yellow, go Yellow Jackets. I would like to thank my parents, friends, and family for being there when I needed you. I also would like to thank my best friend, Sonny, for lightening my life with laughter. And yet, most of all, I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to live through these awesome four years. Good luck, SEMers. Let's take on the world and always be jolly. Curry Romain Jones. I would like to thank God for giving me this opportunity to attend SEM and for getting me through these four years. Next, I would like to thank my parents for loving on me and putting up with me for these last 14 years, 18 years. Last, I would like to thank all the amazing people graduating with me today here. Love you guys. Andrew Paul Kidd. I would like to thank my parents for their continued support and encouragement throughout these exciting four years. I would also like to thank my grandparents for their memories and lessons that made me who I am today. Thank you. For Josh, Rojesh Parala. Since it is customary in such ceremonies, I feel obligated to thank those who have led me to this point today. So therefore, thank you to my three brothers, to my families both in and outside the school, to Dr. Charles Tuttle and the Phys Ex Men, to the best human geography teacher in the world, to the massively patient individuals in our school they call counselors, to the biology teacher with tons of money and an affinity towards partying, to the individual in this school who is a descendant of both Sir Isaac Newton and Jesus, and to the baritone voice and cool individual who's reading this rather long tribute. All oh, shucks, I'll say it, I can't hold my feelings back anymore. I love SEM. Michael James Kruger. First of all, I'd like to thank the big man upstairs. He's always first. Mom and Dad, thanks, can't say that enough. To all my teachers, thanks for putting up with me. To all my homies, keep it real, peace.
Rachel Larson. I would like to thank my favorite teachers. Your dedication, time, and advice made all the difference for me. Second, I would like to thank the authors of my favorite books. Without your words, I would have given up a long time ago. Lastly, I'd like to thank my best friend, Nabi. The last two years were not the same without you there, but I know the next four years are guaranteed to be incredible. Let us continue our life adventure. Herschel Lewis. Walking across the stage has to be the most rewarding experience out of all my four years at SCM. I feel like something is manifesting from my hard work and dedication. First, I would like to thank God for being there and blessing me when I least expect it. I can place all my burdens on Him. Second, my parents, who have continued to support me throughout my life, period. Next, to my teachers, y'all stuck in there with me, as we, and I didn't disappoint you. Lastly, to my dearest friends who made the ride a bit smoother and more enjoyable. Much love to everyone, and hope to see you soon. You made it, class 2011, how deep. sister for their help and support throughout the difficult tasks throughout my whole life, and my friends for making it a good, memorable four years. Thank you all. <laughs> Deanira Maldonado. The joy in life comes from encounters with new experiences, and hence, there is no greater joy than to have an endlessly changing horizon for each to have a new and different son, Alexander Supertrain. Gracias, mamá y papá, los quiero mucho. Toby y Maggie también. Diana Janet Marmolejo. Thank you to my family for being there for me this entire time. Thank you to all my friends, who have been there for me. Thank you to my teachers, especially Mr. Taylor, for giving me life lessons and advice. Daniel, 
Miguel Martínez. Quiero agradecer a mis padres por soportarme durante estos años. I also thank my mentors, teachers, and counselors who have given me many opportunities to succeed. I would like to thank my friends, past and present, for being there for me in good times and bad. Thank you. Philip Anthony Martinez. I want to thank my parents who have always helped, helped me to pursue my dreams. My brothers have taught me the value of family and the rest of my family has always been there for me. To the class of 2011, thank God we made it and remember, live free, run free, and stop at nothing. CFS for life, go Mavs. Boris Wade Nassim. Drive away and try, and try to keep smiling. Get a little rock and roll on the radio and go towards all the life there is with all the belief you can gather and all the courage you can muster. Be true, be brave, stand. Hope springs eternal.
finally, I would like to thank my great teachers that have inspired me to love learning. Without them, my drive for understanding would not be what it is today. Thank you. wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. What I have experienced, however, was everything else. Meeting new friends, bonding with family, self-discovery, to name a few. These four years have been a blast, and I hope my fellow peers will move on toward success and continue to do what they love. I'd like to thank my family for all the support they've given me. My father for his cold-hearted, disciplinary ways. My mother for all the delicious breakfast meals she makes in the mornings. And my sister for having the strength to wake up, to wake me up in the mornings for school. Abimael Ojeda. Thank you to everyone who made it possible for me to be here today. I would like to thank my family and friends for their unconditional support and love. Swag to the maximum. Keegan Oka. Friends, parents, wonderful teachers, you all deserve my thanks. I've enjoyed my time at SEM despite my endless complaints. I'm the person that I'm that I've been exposed to. I look forward to an enjoyable and successful future and to all my friends, Godspeed. Jacob Soto Cortis. Proverbs 21 says that a wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. So dad, I hope you're proud to call me your son. And mom, that was your heaviness for nine months. But mama didn't raise no fool. I love you, mom and dad. Marcus Anthony Perez. Thank you to God, my family, my teachers, and all my amazing friends for an incredible and unforgettable four years. I hope that we journey into this new and exciting chapter in our lives that we continue to be friends. Thank you. That he was glad he didn't kill anyone? That's how I feel now, except without the medical malpractice. Thank you, one and all, and especially my parents, who supported me and put up with my shenanigans. I am grateful to them and to my friends, and a swift and violent end to my enemies. siblings for showing me 
what to do and what not to do. Gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. First and foremost, of Edgar David Rodriguez. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God and my parents for shaping me to the person I've become. Thank you to my teachers for helping me in not just math and science, but also in the matters of life. And to my friends, who I can always count on. Gracias. Thank you to my super awesome man who always 
I would like to thank my mother and papa for always encouraging me to hold my head up high and strive for the best. My daddy for always encouraging me to be humble, to humble myself and study, and to my little sister for always helping me put a smile on my face. Without these individuals, I will not be the proud individual I am today. Walking across the stage, finally saying that I am a 2011 graduate Thank you. In addition, I would like to recognize the members of the outstanding faculty and staff of the School of Science and Engineering Magnet who have dedicated themselves to our graduates' education. The faculty and staff are both wonderful advisors and mentors, and their influence will continue to be felt by you, our graduates, for many years to come. This is a very special day for our faculty who shared so much with you and who care about you so deeply. Faculty and staff, please rise and let us express our thanks to you. I would be remiss if I did not recognize two of the hardest working counselors in the Dallas Independent School District, Mr. Tom Flores and Ms. Nadine Kaship. Please stand. These counselors These counselors have worked with our students to help them to gain admission to the schools of their choice in addition to helping this class earn over 11.1 million dollars in scholarship awards. So let's give them a hand for a job well done. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the senior class sponsors, Ms. Rita Hines, Dr. Charles Tuttle, Mr. Kevon Spencer, and Mr. Vincent Hackett. Please stand. You have helped to make this final year an extra special one for our seniors, so thank you so much for all of your hard work. Now to the graduates of 2011. You are entering a world with a fast-changing global landscape. Please remember that amidst rapid change and innovation lies an ocean of opportunities. I would like to leave you with a quotation from one of the greatest thinkers in the world of science. Albert Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. After all, knowledge is limited to what we know and understand now. Imagination is more. Imagination frees the mind and enables us to look beyond. Graduates, as you go on to make your mark in the world of science and engineering, it is our hope and expectation that you will imagine great things and always live the words found in our school motto, where the possibilities are endless. You should also never forget that your dedication, talents, and commitment to scholarship are all integral components of what makes our school SCM, one of the best high schools in America, not to mention in the world. Now graduates, your moment has come. May you always remember these wonderful times in this very special place affectionately known as SCM, where you've learned so much and you've grown in such remarkable ways. 
Be generous to the world with your talent and use your science and engineering education for good and worthwhile purposes. Remember that this place will always be a part of the SEM family. It's a home to you and you will always be a part of the SEM family. I wish each of you the very best in your continuing adventure of life and education. Go forth to explore and discover new oceans with infinite imagination. At this time, I would like all SEM 2011 graduates to please stand. I proudly present to you the School of Science and Engineering 2011 graduating class. Graduates, you may now move your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Parents and guests, this concludes our program tonight. Graduates, we ask that you please pick up your diploma after the ceremony. Senior sponsors and counselors will be available immediately after the procession. Procession. Family and friends in the audience, we ask that you please remain seated throughout the recessional. Um, a note from Logan's Photography, they will be available immediately after the, the uh, ceremony in the lobby for pictures. So if you're interested in Logan's Photography and the pictures they have to offer, please see them in the lobby. Thank you all for attending tonight, and good night.